Good morning. Happy Friday it is. I'm watching the deer. It's a mama and her baby out in the yard. I threw a couple apples out there because they were staring at me. You know, they, they actually know <laughs> that they get apples if they watch the house. So what they do is they eat their apples and then they wander off. And, you know, she used to have two babies. And one day she showed up with just the one baby and that's it. And she's been coming around since that little one was in spots, just tiny. So I think she um, probably had, has a, you know, has lost one. Anyway, so I think she's finished and now she'll lead her baby. The babies, as they get older, when they're, when they're younger, they, they just follow her everywhere, you know, and as they get older, even when mama leaves, they'll take their time and then they'll act like, oh, wait for me and run to follow, you know? So anyway, my name is Kendra and this is my channel, Kendra Full of Joy. I um, am going to make some Zuppa Toscana today and I don't know what else I'll get into. It's actually copycat olive garden recipe. You probably all have it, but I'll show you anyway. Um, if you like this kind of thing, I hope you'll consider sticking around and um, liking and maybe subscribing. Uh, give me a thumbs up. There she goes back into the woods now. She must have heard something. Bye-bye. Hey, I'm back, and you know how I said I was going to show you Zupa Toscana today? Nope. I'm going to show that to you tomorrow because um, I didn't have the kale I needed. <laughs> so I've got a grocery haul here. I've got two bags of kale. I've got one of the um, Moondrop grapes. Those are the ones that are shaped oddly, but they're fun. Oh, you know what? Maybe they're a little bit... It might be... I have to go through these and see if there's any too soft. They feel like they could be going on done. Now, I also got... I think five bags of frozen green beans and those are going directly into the food dehydrator and then in addition the food dehydrator makes them so I can put them on a jar on the shelf and prep or pantry them so I got uh, four cans of green beans those were a really good price I thought they're the Kroger brand and then I got another bag of green apples Granny Smith's the Kroger brand Kroger brand Baby Bellas. Some really good looking bananas. Did I get five? Yeah, five bananas. And I wanted um, Kroger, you know, um, pears, but they didn't have that brand. They only had whatever brand this is. Um, golden Bosque Pears. Is that how you say that? Bosque? Sweet and Juicy Heirloom Pears. Um, and she asked me, is it okay to sub that? And I said it was fine. So that'll be that. Okay, so I think that's all for the produce. I put three, the only three non-grocery items up here. One is a great big thing of packing tape. So I don't have to worry about it for a while. These were on sale for $5 each. Um, so I got two of the, there you can see them. Oh my gosh, is that a bee? No, really, hold on. Maybe it was my imagination. <laughs> I brought it over here to further inspect. I don't know, but when I put them in a vase, I'll be careful. Yeek! <laughs> and then when I moved the flowers, I saw that I forgot to tell you about the two limes. Those limes are looking better than they used to. They're bigger. And then I've got Bounty paper towels, four of them. And that's it for that part. Produce and non-food. The drinks will be easy. I got some of this Knudsen, um, I think that's how you say that, <laughs> cranberry juice, just 100% cranberry juice. And then I got dull pineapple juice. This is the kind that patients will drink, and she loves it. She didn't like my organic stuff. <laughs> and I got another 12-pack of Topo Chico. I mix that with juice. Here's what I have for um, baking. You know, the baking season is approaching fast. And I was on my last um, PAM spray, and that's the spray that I like to use when I use it. Mostly I use parchment paper because I don't get any anything off the PAM, you know, whatever they put in it. 
And so then I got two of the jet puffed marshmallows. I use those in uh, fudge, things like that, or hot cocoa. <laughs> I got another vegetable um, oil and I've got a bunch of these. I got three butters because they were on sale. Um, I don't usually get them three at a time, but it's never a bad thing to have a stock of butter. And I got two of the mini marshmallows, which I use for a lot of different things. So that's that for my baking. Looks like I forgot one uh, bag. For, I didn't forget it, but I forgot to show it to you. With my baking stuff, I've got one five pound bag of flour, all purpose, and one 10 pound bag of sugar, granulated. So that goes in the prepper too. Here's the protein. I got, um, what did I get? Six pounds of 80 20 ground beef. That was on sale. And I got a pound. Is it a pound? I hope it is. I didn't even check. It might be more. I'd have to put my glasses on. <laughs> anyway, I think it's a pound of Applewood smoked bacon hills, and it was um, on sale as well. This wasn't on sale. I don't think I've ever seen it on sale. The dry salami. We love to have this on a lot of, in a lot of things, um, like um, the pasta salads and things like that, and then um, charcuterie boards and things like that. And then I got some um, Parmesan. I like this brand of Parmesan because there's no cellulose in it. Please don't let there be cellulose in this. <laughs> uh, where are the... Here we go. Because you know it's more expensive than the shaky can, which I have. Parmesan cheese... Cheese cultures, enzymes, potato starch, and corn starch to prevent caking. Okay, so that I'm happy with that. And then I'm going to use that for tonight's uh, Zuppa Toscana. And then I've got sunflower kernels because I used the last of them, and we like to have these, again, for salads and different recipes. Um, and I got one Reina family size spinach and ricotta. That's going to be tasty. I know that'll be a popular dinner. And I'll serve that with bread. Speaking of bread, here comes my bread haul. I didn't have that much left. Just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight items. So I just did them all together. So random fresh pet. I've never bought them this kind. I've only bought them in the past, the kind that comes in a tube. And they've stopped having the smaller tubes available. So they're little dogs and they only eat a little bit. So it's bad by the time. You know, I only let it go a week in the fridge after I open it. This will be more shelf, not shelf stable, more um, stable is not going bad fast. So it's, it's there grain free so they don't scratch. And then I got two of these French bread from the bakery. I think they're French bread. Nowhere on it does it say what it is except bakery fresh goodness. <laughs> so um, I'm going to put those in the oven in some foil and let them get warm. And um, maybe I'll butter them and put some garlic, uh, you know, cream, garlic, I don't know, something on them to make them taste really good for the Zuppa Toscana tonight. I asked for two of these and they gave me one. I think that was all they had. She tried really hard. She kept apologizing and I kept saying, it's okay, it's okay. There's quite the list of things I didn't get. Um, I got a container here of uh, flour tortillas in the um, fajita size so that they can do whatever they like with it. They can make little, you know, quesadillas or they could put meat in it or they could put whatever in it. And here we come to my shameful, shameful. This is the first time they've had these available in the season. And, you know, it's just now October, so I shouldn't complain. They look pretty bad to me. I wouldn't think that they'd be that good, um, probably because I'm not a big fan of pumpkin. But maybe somebody like my kids or my grandkids will think they're lovely. And in that case, I'm so happy for them. These go in Grandma's candy dish. This isn't what I asked for. This M&M's, I just asked for regular chocolate M&M's. They're totally out of regular chocolate M&M's. This seems like it would be dangerous, you know, because if people have food allergies to um, peanut butter or peanuts or whatever, it's a mix. It says mad scientist mix. I think it's a bad idea. I think that they should either be non-peanut or peanut in the same bag. But, you know, I'm not, I shouldn't worry. I, nobody here has a peanut allergy or a peanut butter allergy. And then, Pumpkin uh, wrapped. There's no pumpkin in the chocolate. It's just milk chocolate. 
and I thought they were pretty to put in the candy dish. And so that is the total on my haul. I'm going to go see if I can rustle up the total cost I paid for all of these things for you and get back to you. I have two more things that just arrived and by delivery, but not by a delivery person, by one of the kids. I asked him, he works there, so at Safeway, and I asked him to pick up cranberry juice because I didn't think I'd be able to get it, but I was able to get it. So I got the cranberry juice for $9.99 and the um, beef New York steak was um, marked down 50% off because they do that. <laughs> so... Um, get back Kendra so you can see it better there you go and then he also got further a coupon no it's a 50% off then he gets his associate discount dollar two off so the juice and the steak $19.36 okay I got everything put away that I didn't need to use right now and I wanted to tell you that Topo Chico and that um, cranberry juice on the app, it said that they were out, and on the Topo Chico, which is the water, um, it said, not only did it say out of stock, it said in store only. She brought me both, so that was awesome. Um, they didn't have any bone-in pork roast. They didn't have any mild sausage. They didn't have any whole chickens. My, my, my. Um, they didn't have the vitamin brand I wanted. That's okay, because I'll live. And then she told me no little Debbie and then she must have found it on an end cap <laughs> or something. I don't know. So I was happy with that and I still haven't got my total but I will um, put it in the description below when it comes up. I wanted to say thank you so much if you've gone this far with me. I sure hope that you'll um, you know, give me a thumbs up or um, make a comment. So um, if you like it even further, maybe subscribe, please <laughs> hit the bell icon and I love that. Um, and I will say hi if you say hi. Have a really good Friday, TGIF.